This is a laptop DVD slash CD-ROM drive that I picked up recently. Uh, as you no doubt know, most laptops do not come with DVD-ROM drives or CD-ROM drives anymore. Uh, but I actually have a, a little bit of an older laptop. It's a Lenovo and I wanted to get a disk drive in it because I want to install older versions of Windows for some gaming mod projects that I've been working on. Um, so yeah, today we're going to install a DVD-ROM drive into a laptop and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple, so it's going to be a pretty quick video, but let's jump right into it. So here's the DVD-ROM drive. I'm just going to slide this over. Of course, what you're going to need is a laptop. And what I have to install this into is an older Lenovo. Here it is right here. It's a few years old, uh, still Windows 10 era. But the cool thing about these, of course, is that it did actually come with um, a DVD-ROM drive slot, but no drive is in it. So uh, it's, you know, the last of a dying breed, but Lenovo, as we know from my Lenovo keyboard video, as I went on about, Lenovo has been known for a long time for their office um, hardware, right? So it's good to make something like this with a disk drive if you're buying laptops for office workers, especially in an office because uh, Let's face it, things move slowly in the enterprise world. But uh, yeah, so step one, what we're going to do is remove this battery and we're going to um, slowly take this apart to get to this drive uh, bay. I'm not sure exactly how we need to do it on this one. I haven't looked anything up. The best thing to do when starting to work on an old laptop or anything like that is to remove any electrical source. So of course that means unplugging it from the wall or, um, you know, in the case of a laptop, removing the battery. So I'm going to put this aside and taking a look at this, um, it looks like maybe these two screws are just going to help us pop this out. My guess is that it's going to be as easy as removing this and just pushing this right in there. And maybe, let's see. This is a uh, security bracket, which will probably screw in somewhere to uh, hold it in place. So we're just kind of exploring this right now. Your laptop, if you're doing, if you're following along and you have a different model of laptop, of course, everything's different. Um, every manufacturer, they build their laptops completely differently. Some build them a little bit more modularly so that you can uh, easily add RAM or, you know, replace the keyboard or, uh, you know, replace the battery easily or add or remove a ROM drive, a disk ROM drive like that. So the Lenovo is actually pretty modular, which is really cool. Uh, to start, I'm just going to take these screws out. Let's, uh, I'm going to grab something to put the screws into. You don't ever want to lose your screws. It will drive you crazy. So keep track of them. Uh, actually, I have a little dish here, so I'm just going to use that. I was going to use the lid of my Alti tool set. I already have some screws in there from something. I don't even know what they are. Actually, I think they're from a monitor mount arm or something. So I'm just going to put this aside. Just wanted to show you that it's there. Start by removing this corner screw here. That's one. You can also see on the back of this uh, shell, imprinted into it are what looks like, of, of these screws anyways, these three, a little keyboard logo. So I'm guessing that these are for the keyboard to remove the keyboard, which of course is just on the other side of this. So let's take a look at that. I've removed two screws so far. So we're going to keep moving forward and removing all these perimeter screws, holding this back plate on. Uh, so far, they're all the exact same size screws. That's really important to uh, be aware of. Actually, 
maybe the last two were a little bit different. It's important to keep note of where these different screws are um, because you need to put the right screws in the right place. So actually the last two screws were a little bit longer than the first three screws. So one, two, three, one, two. These were the longer ones, the ones holding on this back plate. And I believe this back plate is actually how we get to the RAM. Maybe the Wi-Fi module as well. We'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna keep going around here. The case screws tend to be a little bit shorter. Yeah, so these are a little bit smaller. So these are the short ones. These are the perimeter one, two, three. These two were the long ones for this panel. Four, five, six. And then there are one, two, three for the keyboard. We're gonna have to remove that because that's also gonna be holding this plate down, I do believe. But uh, we can remove this now. And underneath the cover, we have, uh, this is the hard drive. Originally this was a spinning drive, laptop hard drive. I replaced it with an SSD a few years ago. Uh, we have our two RAM modules, Wi-Fi module, CMOS battery. It's good to know where all that stuff is, but we don't really need to uh, touch any of that because what I'm going to try to get into is uh, the DVD-ROM drive, which is behind this panel here. So next, I need to remove these three screws. So these are, this is good. I think these are the same length as the two panel screws that were holding the back panel on here, but they're a little bit thinner. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, I am going to put that with the two back panel screws. I can tell them apart, so. Just gonna leave that there. That's the first one. Second one. And of course, the third one. So now with this back panel off, we're taking a look at this. We can also see that there are a couple more screws. One, two, uh, I'm not seeing anything else, but I'm gonna have to get those out so that I can get this back panel off. Um, I'm also going to have to remove this SSD. So there are two screws there. This is actually a very modular design, which is really great. Usually it's really difficult to get into laptops, um, especially modern laptops. They're so thin. Um, they're difficult to get into. And again, of course, you're going to want to keep track of where all your screws go. Because no nothing is worse than taking apart a piece of tech and not knowing where anything goes. You need to put it back together. So be mindful of that. And make sure to push your SSD forward like that. Um, you don't ever want to force anything, of course, when you're working in a small kit like this. Um, the main thing is that the connector is here, so we're gonna push it forward to get it 
off the connector and then we'll just pull that out. This is a little uh, piece of metal just to protect from EM stuff. It's protected on both sides so you'll want to make sure that you keep this together um, when you put it back together. Depending on how yours is set up of course I'm just gonna put this to the side. Now that the SSD is out and our other screws are out, it looks like we'll do a quick inspection here. Oh, I actually missed a screw. There is one down in the corner. You'll want to make sure, like double check that you get all your screws out because last thing you want to do is try to force your case, um, pry anything open and, you know, break things. So then you're going to have a very bad time. So so sometimes things like this will happen, you'll take everything apart um, and you'll learn a little bit more about the layout, the lay of the land so to speak, how things are connected. It's kind of important when you're working on your own tech like this that you have some sense of uh, what goes where, what things are doing. Uh, and that you're, you know, careful while you're going about the entire process, you don't break anything. Um, what I didn't realize until I took most of these screws out is that to get to the DVD-ROM drive, and if you notice this from the get-go, uh, great on you. Let me know down in the comments below if you were like, oh, what is he doing? Why did, why, why did he keep going, removing all the screws? Um, I actually didn't have to remove everything on this back panel. Um, it's cool to look at the RAM slot and the CMOS battery and your Wi-Fi module. And, you know, it's good to inspect everything. But just for the process of putting in the DVD-ROM drive, I actually didn't need to do all that because what I failed to realize is that one of the three keyboard tray screws was actually also for the DVD-ROM drive. As you can see, this little tab, this is going to go inside of the bay and it's going to screw right in there. So what I'm going to do now is keep moving forward. With this uh, released, I can actually pull this tray out now. And it's just, it's just a plastic plate. Uh, it's just a plastic piece that was uh, sitting in the drive bay doing nothing of course but as you can see just like the actual drive itself it has a little tab and this is going to go right into that part um, it's a little bit bent but I think it will work of course make sure that you are installing the drive right side up the laptop is upside down so the drive is upside down this is the top this is the bottom facing up you can usually tell that you have it right because it's going to say, you know, DVD or a label about uh, the brand of the drive or whatever. It's going to be right ways up, so you're going to know which way to put it in. So take your plastic drive uh, expansion piece that is garbage and recycle it or keep it. Do whatever you want, but we don't need it right now, so I'm going to put it aside. And very simply, I'll show you, see if we can look inside this, if we can focus it all inside of this. It's really hard to see in there, but um, there are pins, and what we want to do is push the DVD-ROM drive in so that the SATA and power connectors here, um, so that this SATA and power connectors here on the D DVD ROM drive connect with the ports on the inside of the laptop. So we are going to do that right now. Take your DVD ROM drive, and of course you wanna make sure that you have it positioned the right way, and this is proper. So we're going to just slide this in very gently. 
So uh, right off the bat, trying to fit this in here, what I've realized is that this little connector tab, I'm gonna pull this back out for a second. Um, this was the piece that was originally in there and the connection tab for it is on the top. And on this one, the connection piece is on the bottom, but it's also screwed on. So I'm actually going to remove these screws and flip this around so in hopes that this will fit in the right slot here because this actually wasn't meant for a Lenovo. This was from an ASUS laptop, I believe. And that's the thing uh, about computer components is that sometimes you have to do little modifications because even though the DVD ROM drive is a standard drive and it will go into pretty much all laptops that support a DVD CD-ROM combo drive, um, how it connects to that laptop might not be the same. So, uh, because again, like where they put the RAM modules and the Wi-Fi card and everything inside, uh, it's different from laptop to laptop. Those things are not standardized. So you have to be able to adapt a little bit in those situations. And uh, right now we're going to have to flip this around. I'm not sure if this bit is, it's too big. So I'm gonna have to grab my kit and find a bit that actually fits onto this. Let's see, uh, what looks like it would fit. I'm trying to do this one-handed, of course, and not succeeding, so I'm gonna put that down. Jiggle a bit out of my kit. I think this will fit. It seems like it. And success. Take that out. It's a very small flat screw. This of course is coming off, but it's connected to this piece, which I think is an adhesive piece. What we're going to do is move that, flip it around like that. Now I don't know if this is going to fit. Um, and like, there's no way to know. You just have to try it really. Um, so I'm going to put this in. One screw at a time. Hopefully the autofocus is picking this up. Thank goodness for magnetic tips, because this is very difficult to do. Um, so yeah, worst case scenario to um, this doesn't fit, which pretty much just means that I'm still going to be able to make use of the drive, but I'm going to have to um, have it in without this metal bracket. And we'll see, because, uh, you know, I'm starting to have my apprehensions here that it might not even fit. And that's okay if it doesn't. I'll just be very gentle with it. I'll just be very gentle with it when I'm using the laptop and make sure that it does not slide out. So I only really need this drive uh, for uh, a few installations. If you're interested in, in my mods, it has to do with that. So uh, check out my channel for, for more on that. So this piece obviously is not needed. It might actually get in the way. I'm gonna see if I can just pull this piece right off. It does feel like it is an adhesive piece. Gently, but firmly. 
I'm not sure if this is going to be possible. It's on there very solidly. Let's look inside. It does look like there's actually a room. I might not need to pull it off. So, I'm going to try to put this inside. So what we can see right off the bat is that this bracket is not going to work out because it's actually uh, greater in height than the slot for this drive. So that's problematic. I'm going to have to remove it completely. And these, this is just, you know, what you have to do unless you're going to be fortunate enough to just be able to find the exact model of drive for your laptop. Um, you have to do things like this. It's just how it is. Um, and I mean, I got this used in my community. Actually, the guy was selling it for $5 and I went to his house in the middle of a rainstorm early in the year and he just gave it to me straight up, which was uh, super, super kind of him to do. So thank you, stranger, for that. So this drive is going to slide right in. I might still have to get that adhesive piece off. I'm not sure. You can kind of feel it sticking. What would work quite well is if I could get the adhesive piece flipped around because then I could use this little tab at the very least uh, a screw would just sit through it we're gonna we're gonna try it's a lot of extra work of course this isn't really necessary because these DVD ROM drives really can just slide in and as long as these pins right here plug into the port inside then you're good to go but uh, I like the idea of having a little bit extra grip on that drive but I have a feeling like I'm not getting that sticker to sit flush enough inside I'm just gonna hold this see if I can look straight down inside of it it does look like it's getting caught on something which might be causing me problems here probably gonna have to take it off but uh, it was worth you know, giving it a shot. Now holding it vertically, I have been able to wiggle it down a little bit. Look at that. Are we in now? Is the question. This doesn't seem like we are all the way in. Unfortunately, so right at the end, I don't think the tab is getting into uh, that plastic piece, the adhesive plastic piece. I don't think it's getting right into that slot, unfortunately. Um, I can see it too through that hole. You're not going to be able to see it, I don't think. But it does seem like it is almost there. It's so close to being where I need it to be, and it's not quite there. I wonder if I can push it through here. Nope, it's not going to work. It's a little bit too high, unfortunately. Yeah getting caught on things so as you can see I pulled it out and it's all it's all crooked so if you have something like that it's you know it's worth giving it a shot see if it'll work but uh, what you're probably going to have to do is what I'm going to do right here you push it in and then you'll get a little bit of resistance and then just gently push it in and then it's in simple as that so this 
specific drive, again, was not meant for this Lenovo. So it's meant for a different shell, right? It's gonna fit flush with a different type of shell, but I just needed something quick um, to satisfy my needs of reading uh, some old CD-ROMs, actually Windows installation media. And uh, so this will do that quite nicely. It's plugged in, just have to very gently flip this over. Of course, I need to plug everything back in, so I'm going to do that. But that's pretty much how you install a DVD slash CD-ROM drive into a laptop. So let's um, work in reverse here. I'm going to put all this back together. This is our SSD. Gonna set it in here push it down and then push it over so that's connected. This is the EM shield. I'm gonna put that back down over top. Close it back up. Once we get all the screws in, one screw, two screws. Now we had three in here for um, the inside panel, which we didn't really need to do, but we'll close that up. One, two, three. We can now put this panel back on. And then there were two screws here. These were the longer ones, I believe, uh, which were these. They were the thick ones. One, two. The thin ones were for the keyboard and the DVD-ROM drive to release the previous uh, casing. And of course this screw I don't think is doing anything now because we've removed the um, previous holdings on the case. We couldn't get this to fit. Usually your DVD-ROM drive will have a little knob like this or like this and it will screw into uh, something on the back of your laptop to hold it in place. We don't have that, so ours is just kind of like floating, but that's okay, because once it's plugged in, it's still gonna work. And I'm not gonna be moving this around too much, so it's really not too much of an issue for me. Next, I need to put the case screws back in. And there we go, it's all closed back up. I can flip this over. Open her up, there's the keyboard, there's the screen. Next, I'm going to turn this on and we can... Maybe we should put the battery back in because that's important. We're going to be able to use it without the battery, of course. Let's lock it into place. So let's grab a disc and try this out. First, let's start up the computer and let's hit the button. And it opens up, it reads, has power to it, which is great. As you can hear, it's spinning up and it's reading the drive. So that's how you install a DVD ROM drive combo unit into your laptop. It's really quite easy. Um, I hope this video helped you if you're trying to do the same thing. If you have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'm happy to help you, point you through the process. Um, also, be sure to check out my Discord. We talk about things like this all the time. If you're interested in PC tech, retro gaming, or game mods, please check out my Discord. The link for that is on the channel page as well as down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.